This is a mini lecture on hindsight bias. Hindsight bias is the inclination to see events that have already occurred as being more predictable than they were before they took place. In other words, after an event occurs, we tend to look back on that event as being something that we should have seen coming, or in fact, did see coming. Hindsight bias occurs when you learn something new. Maybe learning it was difficult, but after you learn it, you think that anyone else should be able to learn it easily, or perhaps that everyone else already knows it, or, as Dr. Watson said to Sherlock Holmes, anything seems commonplace once explained. Hindsight bias is captured in the exclamation, I knew it all along. At a wedding, someone might look at the happy couple and say, I knew from the moment I first saw them together that they would get married. Unless, of course, they break up. And that same person says, you know, I had my doubts about them from the very beginning. If you are unfortunate enough to be a political leader when something goes horribly wrong, you will likely be the victim of hindsight bias. After the fact, someone will likely say, they should have known. That is what was said of Admiral Kimmel after the Japanese surprise attack on Pearl Harbor. He should have seen it coming. All of the signs were there. How could he have missed them? And so, he was relieved of his command, and Admiral Nibitz took his place. After the space shuttle Challenger explosion in 1986, many critics suggested that NASA should have known it was too cold to launch that day. George W. Bush was criticized for his slow response to the flooding of New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina because he should have known that the flooding was likely. And after the attacks of 9-11, the president was criticized for not paying attention to warnings that bin Laden was determined to strike in the U.S. But are these criticisms really fair? Or is it easy to look back after an event occurs and with perfect 2020 hindsight find all of the clues leading up to the event? Even Admiral Nibitz said of his friend Admiral Kimmel about Pearl Harbor, it could have happened to anybody. So let's see if you too can be a victim of hindsight bias. I'm going to teach you something unrelated to statistics, and then ask you if you understand the concept, then test you on it. This concept is from the field of physics, and it states that molecules expand when heated. This is why you would not want to lay railroad tracks in the winter, because in the summer, the rails will expand and buckle the rails. And this is why you see expansion joints in bridges. In the summer, the whole metal bridge expands and closes those joints. In the winter, the bridge shrinks slightly and the gaps open. So if we have molecules that are cold, they're close together. But when they are heated, they expand. And when they cool back down, they get closer together. But if you heat them up again, they expand. Cold, hot. Cold, hot. Any questions? Do you understand this concept? Do you understand it well enough that you can apply it? Well, let's try. Here we have a one-inch steel plate with a circle cut in the center. We are going to heat it up. My question for you is, when we heat it, will the circle get larger? Will the circle get smaller? Or will the circle stay the same size? Take what you know about molecules and heat and answer that question. Got it? The answer is that the entire plate will expand and the circle will get larger. Now this might help explain it. Imagine that there are 10 of us standing in a circle holding hands. We are all molecules. When we get heated up, we're going to expand. 
We're going to get farther from each other. What will we have to do to be farther from each other? What will that do to our circle? It will get bigger. Now, when I do this example in class, everyone says that they understand the concept, but I'm amazed at how many people get it wrong. Now, of course, maybe I'm using a little hindsight bias myself, because the first time that I was shown this example, I got it wrong. But now that I know it, I think it's obvious. So what does all of this have to do with statistics? As you are learning something about statistics, we will learn lots of new material. You are very likely to hear something once or watch me do it and think, that looks easy. I understand that. But later on, I hear students say, it was really easy when we did it in class, but then when I got to the homework, I forgot everything. It's not that you forgot it. You did not really learn it. You overestimated how much you understood. Looking back at the example, it seems easier now than it really was. So in statistics class, be skeptical of your own understanding. Assume that you understand less than you do and ask questions for clarifications. Don't assume that hearing something once or reading it once is enough for you to learn it. Spend a little time every day reviewing what you are learning because it is normal to think that you understand and then find out that you overestimated your understanding. Hindsight bias happens to all of us. It will happen to you. And your best defense against hindsight bias is to never assume that you know something the first time and spend plenty of time reading, listening, and reviewing what you learn in this course.